Today, we'll be making the Care PCB for my line flowing robot, which will house all the circuits to control these components and more. So, let's build it. Now, you might be wondering if you built a line follower before, why I would need an ultrasonic and a servo for this one. So, let me give you a little rundown about the competition I'll be participating in. The Rubber Rave World Championships. For line follower robots, the course not only involves a black line over a white background, but also a tower at the end with a cutout hole on top, which the robot needs to dump ping pong balls into. The ultrasonic sensor can send out sound waves to detect distance, and the server can rotate to a set position, so they will be used to detect the tower and control the related mechanism, respectively. Before we get into how it works though, let me take a moment to thank PCBWay for making this project possible. They kindly manufactured and assembled this board, and as you can see, the quality of the solder joints is absolutely amazing. Definitely not something that I could make at home with just this equipment. They even sent me a couple spares. So, if you want to get PCBs for just 50 cents a piece, head over to PCBWay.com and use the link in my description to get $5 off your first order. Alright, now that you've seen the Care PCB in action, let me show you how it works with this massive touchscreen display. So, I split the design up into six sections for us to look at, as you can see. For power, I'll just be using a 3-cell LiPo, which is regulated down to 5 volts for logic levels and reverse voltage protected. That means that if I plug it in the wrong way, it shouldn't... Anyways, an Arduino Nano is the main brains of the circuit, which will basically read the sensor values and then do a bit of math to tell the motors which direction and how fast they need to go. They are driven by this TB6612 motor driver chip, and I know I could have definitely put the components themselves on this circuit board instead of using headers and modules, but a beginner like me wants to make sure that if something blows up, most of the board is still usable and no additional soldering needs to be done. Now here are the sensors I'm using and their pinout. If you haven't seen the line sensor before, it's because I made it myself, and you can check out the related video in the description. So, with the circuit already done, I fired up KiCad and designed the PCB as well, with four layers and very thick traces for the motors. All I have to do now is just use PCBWay's KiCad plugin to export the files straight to the quick order page. Alright, here we have the assembled PCBs from PCBUA, and they look absolutely amazing with this shiny black solder mask. Not only that, but the $30 assembly service for up to 20 boards is perfect for these kind of situations, where manually soldering with a shaky hand might damage your board. And with that, we're all good to start testing. Alright guys, let's code a testing program for this ultrasonic sensor. Here's the code for the servo sweeping, and as you can see, it only required a couple lines, thanks to the dedicated Arduino library. Alright, now that we have the ultrasonic and the servo working, I want to test out the motors and motor driver, because this is the part that I've messed up in previous years, and that's probably the most scary, because the motors are directly powered from this LiPo. 
When I coded both motors to go forward though, only one of them was working. Let's fix it. This could be caused by a couple reasons. Faulty outputs from the Arduino, incorrectly routed PCB traces, or fried motor driving. I definitely don't want those last two because they can be a lot more expensive to fix. I'm glad it's case A, so I can probably just fix it with some code. Now, the outputs are working, and you can see about 4.5 volts out of motor A's terminal, because I programmed it to about 40% speed. I'll just screw in the motor now, and it should be all good. Thanks for watching my video and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the next episode where I'll be designing, 3D printing, and testing the full robot minus the tower attachment. Happy holidays and again, thanks to my friends over at PCBWay for hooking me up with this awesome Christmas merch.